Step one, wake up early, gon' rise with the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, think grow hard about what you wanna be. Step four, f everybody just do your thing. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. 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 Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. You want something? Go get it. Period. fam welcome to a full day of eating an exciting day that i had to take you a part of which is my first day at the new gym i am outside the gym i am not a member yet today is my first day to try it out so he just texted me like a code to get in the door hopefully it works i don't even know but i had to pop in with you guys and tell you my feels so welcome to the channel if you are new my name is nicole and i'm always trying to motivate and inspire you guys wherever you are on your health journey. And today for me, this is a big milestone in my health journey as far as me joining a new gym. I've been at Planet Fitness since 2019 and I am super scared to uh, join a new gym, but I'm also super excited. And the reason why I'm scared is because like I mentioned in that car chat video, go check that video out that posted last week, is the fear of the unknown. But if you don't take that leap, guys, you're never going to know, like I mentioned in that video. And I'm so excited for like all the new equipment and stuff that's in here. But of course, it's like a little bit out of my territory. So that's why I'm scared. But I'm super excited today. We're doing upper body number one. I'm probably going to change some things around depending on like what they have in there. This is like my normal upper day number one. I'm going to keep it the same. What I'm saying is like if there's some brand new bomb equipment, like we might be like changing things around to cater like what's in here. I do are even though I haven't even worked out in here yet, I do plan on joining this gym based on what I talked with him about last week doing the tour. I was just so stoked and I liked everything that I heard and saw and I don't want to have to like like bug him with a like a code and paying a day pass to come in here so it just makes sense to go ahead and join this gym because it's what I am looking for for my specific goals and Planet Fitness just doesn't have that for me and I mentioned that Planet Fitness is a gym that is amazing and you can definitely get results and get gains with don't let anybody tell you and it has been an amazing journey for me at the PF and all the drama and everything with it since 2019 it's just I personally where I am at my journey I have outgrown the gym if that makes sense so i'm excited to come over here i hate to leave my gym buddies they've already like given me their numbers and stuff and they're like you better come back and you know say goodbye and look i haven't even canceled anything over there or anything yet um but i'm definitely going to probably go over there at one point this week and like work out and take care of business and all that stuff but i'm pretty sure this is my new forever home and we haven't even worked out here so Pre-workout is flowing. We had our breakfast this morning, guys, which is the anabolic breakfast sandwich that has been on my channel for a while. I will link it down below and up above in the cards for you guys. But I'm going to go in here, hopefully crush out a good workout, join, and then we've got a million things to do per usual that we always do, you know, on a Monday for sure. Let's go kill it, guys. First day at the new gym. Exciting time.
turn it up. Roasted. I don't even want to say dusted. I am so roasted right now. It's not even funny. In a good way. Holy shnikes. With this new gym, I signed up, obviously. I got my key fob. I got to go to the ATM and get the, the cash because if you sign up for a year, you get two months free because your, your girl's always about a discount. So I was like, oh, hails to the yes on that. We getting two months for free. Let's go. So I've got to get the cash because he only does cash if you do the year up front, which is understandable, um, and get that ready for tomorrow. But tomorrow's leg day and I'm so excited because while I was in there, I went ahead and I scoped out some of the equipment for legs, which is why I signed up for this gym is really for legs to have free bars to be able to do deadlifts, squats. They've got a thing that I don't even know the terminology. I told you on the car chats for like good mornings. There's a machine for that. There's also a setup for thrusts, like with the free bar, which I'm, I'm super stoked, but I'm nervous about because I've been going heavy at planet fitness, but on a Smith machine is definitely different than the free bar. So I'm going to be humbled real quick with a lot of things. I was humbled AF today when I went to go do some shoulder presses. I've been doing them with the dumbbells, but I'm like, oh, let's try it with the free bar. And I like put all this weight on it and I went, I couldn't even lift it up. I was like, oh, humbled AF real quick. Like we got humbled real quick. And I was like, oh girl, you better settle down in this gym. You better settle down. The bar itself, and I know Jen has told me because she's done it, done it with the free bar before. I've never, this is my first time and it was heavy AF, just the bar. So I was like, oh, we're just gonna use the bar? I even tried putting like 10 pounds on it and I was like, girl, just take a step back, just use the bar. And we did the bar and it was freaking heavy and I'm, I gotta get my form better on that anyways. So I was like, okay, that was cool. And then the pull-ups felt great, just doing them on a freaking bar, like what? I was like, I felt, when I did those pull-ups, I felt freaking beast. I mean, not to be full of myself, proud of myself, y'all know. I was like, damn, I did not expect to be able to do them um, that easily. And I say easily, but they just felt good. They felt really good, and I was expecting them to feel really hard, and they didn't. So I was happy with that. And then there's lots of other equipment that I've never used before. So they have the lateral raise machine which is hard, but like, oh my gosh, such a burn for your shoulders. And then they have that new chest thing that I showed you guys that you put the actual weight plates on, which was hard AF. I only had 20 pounds on there. Did I have 20 or did I have 10? I don't even know. It was light. Whatever it was, it was light. And I was feeling it. It was hard, 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 hard. And it's hot in there. They don't have the air is blasted as much as Planet Fitness, I will say. But look, I just get this extra cardio burn in, sweating it out. Wow, as y'all can see, of course I'm on a high and we went hard. I was in there way longer than I usually am. I'm longer, I'm in there playing a fitness long too, you guys know. But I was like trying to scope things out, especially for tomorrow for legs. I was like, ooh, let's get a little, little preview for what we can expect tomorrow. But guys, like I said in the car chat, just push yourself, push yourself and get out of your comfort zone. Do, am I scared of like a lot of things in there? Yes, but I'm also excited too, and you're never going to know unless you freaking try. And if you just stay in your comfort zone, sometimes you're not going to actually have any growth, you know? I mean, if we want to see growth, if you want to see a difference, you want to see a change, you've got to make the change. Something's got to be different. You've got to change things, but expect to see change, you know? So that's what I'm really going to this gym for. The vibe is freaking killer in there. I mean, they blaring the music. I mean, so freaking loud. I mean, my headphones, I can hear my music, but I can still hear their music. That's how loud it is. Everybody in there was super respectful. And one thing, guys, most importantly, I didn't have to wait for anything today. I was able to do everything I wanted without anybody being on it. There was hardly anybody in there at that time. It started to get a little bit, I won't even say crowded, but people were starting to come in around the 1030 mark, but I'm like wrapping it up. Hells to the yes. It's been such a struggle at Planet Fitness with waiting for equipment to get things done. I mean, the other day I waited legit 45 minutes between 
the leg press and the Smith machine to be able to do anything. 45 minutes, I could have been working out. I'm happy to report on that. So that was the awesomeness main point. I was like, sign me up. I don't have to wait for everything. I can get my ish done. I just loved it. Loved it. Good first day. Over the moon. I'm over the moon happy. And you can do it, guys. Push yourself. Get uncomfortable. Get unscared. That's a word. I was such on a high from the gym. I'm like all over the place. And the hubby was calling in like a million times. And I, I kept hitting the button because I was talking to you guys. And he's like, I want to know about the gym. He's more excited than me, I swear. I had my Fair Life protein shake afterwards and my banana. I already tossed it back here in the trash. And that's always my post-workout snack. Y'all know nothing's changing. Back home from running errands, almost one o'clock. Today's lunch does not look appealing at all, okay? It looks like trash. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I saw this on TikTok. You know, they've got all these different viral high protein quick lunch video things over there when I'm a scrolling and yes I bought some makeup at CVS and I got some swatches y'all I can't wait to tell y'all about this like lip thing that I've been using but I had the wrong color so as you can see I went back and I swatched some and I got one that I think I'm gonna love anyway I digress squirrel moment but I saw that video I wanted to try it this is what she did so she took a tortilla I'm using the carb counter 45 calorie ones she took this exact same great value premium white chicken packet and fajita flavored sauce, 12 grams of protein, 70 calories. I'm really not a fan of these chicken packets usually, but we're going to give this a try. I'll let you guys know. And then she put a serving of Velveeta shreds on there. So I did that as well. That's all that's in the burrito. This, she, this is supposed to be like a copycat Taco Bell Chipotle burrito, but I didn't use the adobo sauce or whatever, or the chipotle sauce. I did what I did for my taco salads last week, which was fire, which is taking some plain non-fat Greek yogurt and then adding some Taco Bell sauce. And by the way, are y'all having a Taco Bell shortage by you guys? I can't find any Taco Bell sauce and I just use the rest of this. So uh, I'm going to be on the hunt tomorrow after the gym. And then I put some of the Redmond's Real Salt Taco Seasoning in there and you stir it up and it's like so freaking good. It's great as a dressing if you're looking for a taco salad dressing. It was fire last week. Then I've got a bag of Quest protein chips and my favorite spicy sweet chili just to make things easy and of course amp up the protein. So for my burrito, my dip, and my protein chips, it's 344 calories, 46 grams of protein, 26 total carbs, and 11 grams of fat. I'll update you on this. Update on the burrito, not my favorite, but not bad. Would I put it on plan like in a, in a hot second again? The answer to that would be no, but um, I got all the stuff to make it this week, so we're gonna follow through. However, these Quest chips dipped in that, holy, oh my gosh, y'all, so good, so good. If you're looking for like a, a high protein taco dip, mm, that's where it's at. Three o'clock, it is snack time. We've been cleaning bathrooms, doing all the things, and we're going in with some carbs. So we've got a bag of the Pop Secret. This is the 100 calorie one. The Orville Redenbacher is the one that we've been eating on. This one is new to me. And I actually like this one better, I think. I've only eaten it once, my second time. However, this one feels like it's half empty. The other one was like full. So I don't know about that because Orville is pretty consistent. And then we've got a Cosmic Crisp Apple. I've got this back in my life. I don't care what you guys say. I'm telling you, Cosmic Crisp apples are the best apples ever. The Pink Lady ones we got on sale at Aldi, I mean, they just, uh, they regular apple. There's magic in these Cosmic Crisp, I'm telling you. And then we've got a Redmond's Relight Electrolyte Packet and the Watermelon Lime. I've just been putting it in like a 16.9 ounce bottle lately because I feel like with the Stanley and with the big cup I was doing, plus the big thing of Hydro Jug water, I'm like peeing all night. I'm like getting up and peeing all night and getting up. And this is helping not drinking as much liquid, if that makes sense. So for our snack, we have 182 calories total, 2 grams of protein, 39 total carbs, and 3 grams of fat. So not that many kernels left. And I, I still pull true. I think this one tastes better than the Orville. I know a lot of y'all said y'all didn't like this one. And y'all love the Orville one the best. But I like the way this one tastes. It's more buttery and has more flavor to me than the Orville Redenbacher for sure. Dinner is almost ready and we are making this baked spaghetti. This is from Paula Deen's Potluck Favorites. Now, okay, mine doesn't look like this, all right, y'all? Don't come for me, don't say anything. Uh, Yeah, this is what we're working with. I thought I had sliced, she calls for sliced mozzarella to go on top. I thought I had sliced mozzarella. 
I did not. I had cold Monterey Jack, sliced Monterey Jack. That's what we went with. Okay, don't come for me. It's going to taste just the same. Everything else is the same, but that does look pretty sad, right? I'm not going to lie there, but it's going to take del taste delicious. So we're going to let this sit for 10 minutes and we're going to do our lightened up garlic bread. Y'all asked all the time in the past and I haven't done that in a while. I'm doing that tonight. I'm so excited though because this smells and looks so freaking delicious, but your girl next time will remember the right damn cheese. In the process of doing my lightened up garlic bread, y'all, it's so easy and it's so great for cutting or whatever you're doing when you're counting macros. The Keto Culture Hot Dog Buns, if you have a low calorie bun, these are 50 calories. So I open this up and I make like breadsticks essentially. Yes, it's still holding strong if you're wondering the lip stain or whatever we got going on. And did y'all know that the oh Laughing God. Cow Cheese is now... 25 calories a little wedge versus 30 they changed the macros and packaging mentioned that in my grocery haul so we're going to spread that after it comes out with a little bit of parsley and so you've got what 75 calorie garlic bread versus 120 that the rest of the family is having here for it so here's our serving of our spaghetti casserole there's our lightened up garlic breadsticks for a total of 563 calories i mean big old portion we're eating on fine china tonight 47 grams of protein 59 total carbs and 23 grams of fat dang y'all yes i'm eating with my baby fork don't say anything y'all know how we roll around here dang y'all even waylon ate this tonight what winning however i got that piece of cheese stuck to the tin full don't y'all hate that oh our aluminum foil haters come for us we even cook the damn food in an aluminum foil pan i mean we just go in extreme over here if you watch that carnivore reaction video it will definitely be better guys with sliced mozzarella rather than what i did for sure i probably would even just do some shredded mozzarella and put that on top it would be fire next time but dang, that was so good. Like Waylon said, it was the best dinner ever. Mm. Mom went over here, everybody eating the same thing. We don't have to cook extra things. Winning. 734, never skip dessert. We're doing something new. I saw these Keebler Graham mini crusts, okay? They're little mini pie crusts and they're just 100 calories, a little pie crust. Now they are super tiny, I'm not gonna lie. They're individually like wrapped, which is nice. I've got like 115 grams of the Oikos Triple Zero vanilla in there. And then a serving of the cherry sugar-free pie filling by Great Value, which is 35 calories and some whipped topping. So our little mini pie, which is, as you can see, overrun it because it's more than I anticipated always with the high volume 216 calories 12 grams of protein so we got a protein cherry pie 28 total carbs and six grams of fat just an easy way to have like a little fix you can use whatever pie filling you want you can do granola instead okay that was bomb I will try it again later on in the week with the yogurt mixed with a little bit of sugar-free jello and the cheesecake to give it like that thicker consistency and cheesecake flavor. Then with this on top, I will say this cherry sugar-free is way better than the apple. You have to spruce up the apple a little bit. Is this super sweet? No, but it's, it's damn good the way it is, have to say. And just enough of the cookie from this. Man, that was hitting, not gonna It lie. is now the next day, 1.30. Little update on the burrito situation from lunch. Of course, I ha I'm having it every single day. Much better today. I let it air fry a little bit longer than I did yesterday. And instead of adding the Taco Bell sauce to the Greek yogurt, I just added the taco seasoning. So it's nice and thick and it was bomb that way. So definitely a little bit of tweaking, but we've got it down and I would, I would make it again. I, I stand corrected from what I said earlier. So we did our first leg day in the new gym so i had to update you guys in this vlog i couldn't keep you guys hanging because that's what i was most excited for with this new gym was all the new equipment things that planet fitness doesn't have for leg day specifically and we went in there today and i felt a little defeated at first did my hip thrust which is a definite adjustment the way that they have the little hip thrust section the bar doesn't weigh anything so it's super light like a smith machine bar would be however just getting the freaking plates on there was a work 
workout in itself. I gotta figure out, there's a lot of hacks I know, little videos, I need to figure out the hacks on getting the plates off and on easily. But I did lighter weight today just to get the feel of it. And let me tell you, I could feel it in my quads and in my glutes way more than that Smith machine ever. So I'm not beating myself up about weight because I feel like we're actually doing them legit now, if that makes sense. No shade to the Smith machine, but I just feel like we're going to see a world of difference with doing things at this new gym. Did deadlifts today, and I mentioned in my stories, if you watched, if you follow me over there on Instagram, my deadlift game right now sucks. It sucks ass. I'm not sugarcoating it. My form is terrible. I film myself, you guys know, not just for Instagram and YouTube, but it's so important to film yourself for form to make sure you're, you're doing things correctly. Cause when I was doing the deadlifts, of course I'm in a new gym, got new equipment. I'm feeling like I'm going beast mode and I go watch the playback and I'm like, oh snap. Girl, like your form is trash, it's trash. What were you even thinking? What were you even doing? So bad that I did not post it on Instagram cause I'm like, people are gonna be coming for me about, oh, you're gonna hurt yourself. Cause look, I know that's why I'm filming myself because I know my form is trash. So we're gonna try some things out next week. My gym has a trap bar. So I think I'm gonna play around with that play around just using the bar because the bars here that we're using at this gym are 45 pounds the smith machine bars at planet fitness i could lift it up with my pinky these bars are no joke and they will humble you real quick just lifting up the freaking bar when i was doing my overhead presses yesterday i was tell i told you guys it like blew me away so I i'm getting humbled real quick but not beating myself up because it's a whole nother level it's a whole nother level and we're leveling up that's the whole theme of this week with this new gym and i could not be more thrilled and here for it we also did some new power squat machine and the hack squat machine which that power squat machine oh uh, uh. Y'all, I was suffering with the good mornings over at Planet Fitness with the Smith machine. My form wasn't the best on those either and I wasn't feeling it where I needed to feel it because it's just awkward on that Smith machine. And this machine, this power squat machine, Oh Lord, y'all, we are going to be seeing, I can already foresee the gains. I'm telling you, I'm so like stoked for all these new things. And what I wanna end with today's vlog with is don't get discouraged, because I felt a little defeated, not gonna lie, on some things yesterday, on the, on the deadlifts for sure today. And I said, you know what, girl, you have come so, such a far away. You are so strong, and this is just the beginning. It's just the beginning like it was when you first walked into Planet Fitness and you didn't know what the hell you were doing on anything then. It's the same feels now, but it's in such a good way because I know this is going to do nothing but better me for my goals specifically and I'm just here for it a hundred and ten percent. Macros yesterday I wanted to tell you guys that because I left you guys hanging after dessert which so many people blew me up with dessert over on Instagram was like, oh my God, genius, y'all. It's, it's not, it's not. <laughs> it really isn't, but I think it's gonna be so much better. It was good, don't get me wrong, but I think it's gonna be so much better with the little tip I told you guys about the Greek yogurt and the pudding, the cheesecake pudding. I think it's gonna be even better that way. So yesterday's calories were 2,013, protein 183, total carbs 236, and fat 57. I will tell you, I weighed in this morning at 154.6. The scale is dropping a little bit even with the increased calories and I've been trying to eat as close to these calories as possible. I didn't go off the, I mean I never go off the rails, but I didn't go off the rails at all last weekend. I just had my nut butter at the movies. I ate dinner before I left here which was tracked and on plan. So I think that's why the scales dipped a little bit because we are more on point. We are going to see the new Scream 6 this Saturday. My sister and I, if you know you know, her and I are diehard horror Halloween fans all year long, not just around spooky season time. And we are going to get extra dressed, go out to eat and eat the nut butters at the movies, of course. So I'm just gonna keep rolling with it, but I might increase calories. I told you guys a little bit before we start this cut in April, because this cut's gonna be freaking off the chain. It's going to be fire. I'm not ready for it. I am ready for it. I don't wanna do it, but it's going to be freaking epic. I just know, especially with all all the new changes we've got going on. So change is good, guys. Getting out of your comfort zone is a good thing. I mean, I've been kind of like just riding the wave, right? And we're progressing and stuff over at Planet Fitness, but this is just a whole nother level. And I'm so excited to see what the future has in store. So today's the day. Today's the day. If you've been wanting to make a change, wanting to take a leap, do something that you haven't, today's the day to go ahead and make that change. Do it 
commit and follow through. Don't be scared. Everybody's scared out there the first time that they do something, but you never know until you try. So I hope y'all enjoyed today's full day of eating. If you enjoy these videos, don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up. That helps me out so much and I appreciate you taking the time to do so. If you are new, of course, I'd love to have you. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Hit all the bells and whistles before you leave. I hope you're having a kick-ass week. I hope your week is going awesome. If you have downs, just know that there are going to be triumphs, there are ups, and we're all having the, the negatives and the downs too. Life isn't perfect, but what you put in day in and day out is going to receive the best results overall, and you just have to overcome that ish. Get Bev, which is our inner voice that tells us what we can't do out of your head, and just show up, show up, keyword, show up each and every day, and be consistent and you'll see a change. I love you guys so much. I hope y'all have an awesome day and an awesome week. And of course, we'll see you in the next video. Bye y'all.